Hi guys, welcome to this session in LibreOffice Calc. In this module, I want to go through some of the more common functions that you might come across when using Calc. So I've got a little table of information. What I want to do, first of all, is add up the total cost for this table. Now that is a sum function. I'm just going to type it, equals sum, open the bracket, select the range, close the bracket, and click the tick or press enter, whichever you like to do. Now I'm going to tick it. 7,700, and if I highlight that data down the bottom right hand side, you get a confirmation if you like, 77, that's correct. The problem with having the sum like that is it doesn't work if you have filtered data. So if I put a filter on this, so I'll just click into this list, go to the data tab here, and select auto filter. We'll put these little drop downs and I filter. I'll do a person, so I'll take the tick off that and tick brown, for example. The figure there for brown is accurate, but it's not doing it there. So that's the total list. What you have to use is this function, the subtotal function. So I'll just bring all of these back, first of all. Tick that one on. OK, bring everything back. OK. Get it right the first time. So the subtotal function allows you to do the sum, but average, count, max, and things like that. But subtotal is what I'm going to type. Opening the bracket on that. Now nine is what you need to put if you want to do the total. And then it's asking me for the range there. So if I highlight this range and then just close the bracket on that and click the tick and let's see what happens. I should have exactly the same figure as I've got there, which I do. If I do that filter again, take the tick off, tick brown, OK. That now picks that up. Where that stays the same, that's picked that up. So you've got in the subtotal function, you've got the average as well. So this average that I'm going to do next is only if you're not going to use filters. So the average function is the next one I want to look at. So it's going to be equals average, open the bracket, want the average of this list, highlighting that, closing the bracket, clicking the tick or pressing enter. I'll just highlight that just to double check. We've got the same score, 641641, that's great. So now what I want to do is this one, average if. So it's the average, but with a qualifier. I'm gonna use these over here as a qualifier. So I'm gonna type equals, average if opening the bracket so i'll go for the location i'll highlight this list so that's the range comma if it equals newcastle that cell comma i want it to add up the figures like so closing the brackets clicking the tick 600 so newcastle Average is 600. So there's one, two, three Newcastles there. There's these three here. That's the only Newcastle ones there are. There's the average look, 600. So that was average if. Now, average ifs with an S allows you to have multiple criteria, but it works the same sort of way. So if I go equals average ifs with an S, open the brackets. So basically, average range first. So this time I'm highlighting these, comma. Then it wants the my first range. So I'll go for location again. So if location, comma, is equal to that, Newcastle, comma, and item, if I highlight item, comma is equal to access, comma, and rep, comma, is equal to white. And then closing the bracket on that, clicking the tick, comes up with 750. So we're looking at Newcastle, there's three Newcastle. We're looking at access, there's two access, and there's two whites. So if I highlight that, 
900 and 600 the average is 750 which is what it's picking up it's picking that up so the next one is sum if sum if so again that was averaging it this is adding it up with a qualifier and again i'll use this little table over here as a qualifier so it's equals sum if so it's asking you for the range and then the criteria and then the sum range which will be that there so let's go for location again so look down location comma for newcastle comma when you find newcastle add up the total that's the formula there closing the bracket clicking the tick so for newcastle there's three newcastles if i highlight the three newcastles it's coming up with 1800 which is correct so that one is sum if now the last one in this little session is sum ifs which allows you to have multiple criteria as opposed to just one criteria there so i'm going equals sum ifs with an s sum range first so i'm highlighting this range comma so now you've got range one and then criteria one. So range one is going to be location, comma is equal to what I've got in H2, which is Newcastle, comma, an item, item is equal, comma, the access, which I've got in I2, comma, last one, and the rep is comma equal to what i've got in j2 close the bracket so this is sum ifs it allows you to have multiple criteria 1500 so access newcastle access white newcastle access white white 1500 and that's picked it up so that's all i want to cover in this little session few little examples of some of the more common functions used in calc hopefully that's of use thank you for your time i'll catch you in the next one